lights. All right. <laughs> now, no, I haven't really done any Professor What, any Professor What type videos in a very long time. But it feels like the I don't know. Like all my shows are probably gonna get these little mini, little mini tiny little episodes that I've written. And this one is not really, not really what you're gonna see in Professor Wood. It's more of a short than anything else. But it is important. It's not only important to the professor, but it's also important. Well, <laughs> you'll see what I mean. You'll see. I should probably begin. <clears throat> Well, well, we meet the we meet the professor about to regenerate into his into his fourth form. Yeah, we're going. This is the fourth professor story, and personally, since the professor is a little bit like the doctor, but somewhat different, we go to this one. did all I could, and still, I wasn't able to save, wasn't able to save you, I wasn't able to free you from the, from, from the, from the guardian, I'm sorry, <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 Ain't gonna regenerate yet. What's going on here? Come on, dude. You should know who I am. You wait a minute. That suit. Those glasses. Those shoes. Hey, what's wrong with my shoes? Nothing, you look kind of like an, you could all look like an old businessman. Well, excuse me, you're going to grow in the love of them when you get, when you get to my point. Yeah, don't think that's going to, oh, my dear Lord, you're me, aren't you? Yeah, give or take a few. Give or take a few regenerations, yes. Why are you here? Don't won't you be won't you being here cause a temporal a temporal time paradox? It would, but your TARDIS is in a place between dimensions, you know? Like how we always go to different universes. So, you and I can actually coexist in this realm for a minute. I wanted to tell you a few things because, I, you know, the me that I, that I turn into, you know, the you, you become, you know, aka me, comes to you before you regenerate. To impart to you a certain, a certain lesson. But what is it? I I would like to know before I regenerate. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. But I need you to understand this. You will you will say you will save Zach. You will save him. But not now. I know that hurts. It hurt when I had to hear this. But you will. When you do, everything is going to be a little bit better. I guess I'm regenerating. I'm regenerating too, you know. I just wanted to tell you that because this is how the, our chain of events are supposed to happen. And where's Zach? He had one more regeneration, right? 
freedom. It gave, it gave me, and we, and we got a new cycle of generation, both of us. But he's on his, but somehow, he's on his last one. He said he'd rather stay on, he'd rather stay on Gallifrey because nowadays they don't mind hybrids. I said, I said, you sure you don't want to be dropped off there? He's like, what? He said, what will I do with Earth? Now I could probably get a desk job, but I want to help our people. Even though we're probably, even though we're half. Even though we're half Gallifreyan, it still doesn't matter. I want to do the best I can to help. As you're doing now. So we really do save them, don't we? Yes. And is he... Does he become happy adventuring with us? Yes, he does. More... More than ever. We really go on some pretty good adventures. But... I can't tell you any more than that. But... Trust me, man. We'll find him. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go to my TARDIS. It's about time for me to finally regenerate. Remember, always have hope. Because hope, my dear friend, is what we need more, most in life, more than anything else. And never give up on the humans, or any, or any species you help. Even if they can be difficult. Okay? I know. I know you're a little bit, I know when you get to your fifth one, you're going to be a little bit more short-tempered. But you need to remember, there's always hope. There's always time, there's always time to help people. Even if it inconveniences you. You don't have to tell me that, how are you now? I know, but when you get to, when you get to your fifth one, you're gonna kind of sort of get a little angry and forget that. But my words are gonna echo in your head, and you're gonna remember it, and all this other stuff. One last thing: Do we do we find her too? Do we go back? I don't think I should tell you that. Man. You're gonna find out on your own soon enough. But hey, just remember one thing. I know, like the only like the only thing you're really gonna remember from this little exchange we're having right now is what I say to you now. But remember, you're the professor. You do a lot of people. That means something. That gives them hope. In our universe, the Doctor doesn't exist. Because he died during the Time War. You know this. But that's why the Professor has to do what he has to do. In every dimension. Because we don't give up on people. We don't give up on ourselves. We're n we never back down. We never back down when people need us the most. Remember... Please, please always remember that. I must, I gotta leave, I gotta leave you now. But, you were the best friend. You were my favorite incarnation. Whenever, whenever I think of good moments in our, in our adventures when I was you, they're always so perfect. Sure, we now always have the occasional misunderstanding and the occasional slap in the face. But through it all, we had fun. Well, I had fun. And you probably did too. So, just wanted to say that before you regenerate. Well, I'll get to my TARDIS. You'll probably see me. You'll probably see me again. Way out of order, but you'll see me again. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, but I get going. Oh, and Professor. Always. Always. Oh, and always be. And always. And always smile, would you? Because I know. Because I know. I know. This version of me never really smiled as much. So, in the, in the next one, you should totally smile. Just saying. Hmm. All right, I, I will. Bye, Professor. Bye. Bye, Professor. As the, as the two professors from different parts of their lives say goodbye, both go to their TARDIS and regenerate. And their TARDISes both explode in different timelines. They don't meet each other after this, but they do understand. But ele but the eleventh version of the professor understands that this was needed. Because guys Because guys I actually did make a whole bunch of professors, but let me finish the story, sorry, sorry. But the one thing that will always remain in all all the multiverse. More so than Bugsy John Curl himself. There will always be the Professor. Helping out the multiverse whenever Bugsy John Curl cannot. And, and sometimes bumping into the Doctor. But that's for a story for another day. Peace, everybody. And also, yes, I have my own history of writing uh, different different versions of the professor, like the doctor. Took me a while to really remember. They used to write a lot of stuff. I don't know. I used to see, like, old Doctor Who episodes. I think it was on Sci-Fi. It was on something. I watched it on something. I don't really remember where. But... Yeah. As a little short little thing. I don't know if it's really that good. I think it is. Because when I wrote because when I wrote that story, yeah, the eleventh version of the professor actually does come to see him. But it was in his perspective. Well, actually, it was yeah, it was in his perspective. I kinda wanted to just act this point out. Because we're not really done with the current version of the Professor. It's just something I wanted to act out because, well, you know, I just kind of miss doing the Professor stuff. I miss, I sort of miss sounding the way he does, you know? I miss it. I miss it heavily, you know? I know I work on other things, and I know I constantly... Make rants about the SGWs. Who doesn't nowadays? But I do miss. I do miss doing voices for the professor. I do. And I do like the current version. I don't know if it's going to regenerate in time soon. Because this is like way, way into his actual adventures. I did kind of, I did kind of spoil that Zack does leave him. So he that does happen. But I never you know, again, I never did you know, I never did the eleven I never did the eleven professor storyline. Because personally, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. All I was thinking like a future version of him comes to see him and he's like in subspace, so they just both kinda have a chat and then they both kinda go and regenerate. Just kind of instilling the kind of instilling the ideas of what the professor really is and what he means to people, because the fifth one, the oh, fifth one, if I remember, he's he's got like the he's got like a twelfth, 
He's kind of like 12 in the fact that he's kind of always kind of angry. He does have the softer moments and lighter moments, but mostly, mostly I read him, I written him if the doctor was more, I written the professor if he was like a more angrier, a more angrier and more pissed off kind of doctor. You know, he has his moments, but he's more pissed off and everything. But that comes with, that comes with a reason though. May I might do some fifth up may I do some fifth mini doctor story fifth mini professor stories. Maybe. You know, it's been a while since I touched any of the other professors other than my current one. So we'll see. We we shall definitely bloody see. But until then, laddies. But until then, laddies. We'll we'll see. See you guys later. I'm the prof I'm pr I'm the prof I am Bugs John Curl, but I will always, always probably be the professor in one way or another. So I'll see you guys later. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, more spooky stuff is gonna happen, but I just felt like doing this. Kind of in a Doctor Who kind of mood, so you know how I feel. So yeah, the professor will return, just not now. Probably in January. No, 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 no. Probably in February. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue. What? We're going to continue where episode zero left off. Yep. The Wrath of Robotnik story. The Wrath of Robotnik story will be created. But I shall see you all later. For I've told you way too much. And I hope you, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. See you guys later. Oh no, yeah. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Yeah, I always wanted to say that.